So friends, I have a question. Which country is the most powerful country in the world? Which country has the largest economy? Which country has large companies like Google, Apple, Microsoft, and YouTube? YouTube is the platform from where you are watching this video. So in which country YouTube was first made? Which country has won the most Nobel Prize? Which country is hated but still needed? Well, there's a single country's name, which is the answer to all of these questions. And the country's name is written in the title. And that is the United States of America. But the question is, how did they become the number one superpower? Why are we all mostly dependent to this one single country? So today in this video, we are going to use some of our brain to learn history of USA. But before that, if you love your country, then like the video and subscribe the channel in the next 5 seconds. Challenge starting now. Now let's go. Why nobody is making video of my history? Oh. I spend we want history of Switzerland so that India will make history of mine too. How many times do I have to tell you, you are not the real Sigma? Wearing sunglasses doesn't make anyone a Sigma automatically. Do you want to go? Huh? Absolutely no, I don't wanna poop 69 times a day like you. I will only eat popcorns. <laughs> Adios. Fake Sigma will never be a real Sigma. Anyways, guys, spam and comment. We want history of Switzerland. So let the story begin. First, let's see how did USA get independence. So USA got independence from Britain. Let's see the history visually to understand properly. In year 1492, an Italian explorer named Christopher Columbus discovered some islands in North America. He was shocked to find these islands. He found some humans living there. After this, Europeans got to know about America. And many European countries start to colonize America. And obviously Britain was one of them. Anyways, during that time, Red Indians used to live in America. However, do not call them Red Indians now. Today in 2024, around 2 percent Red Indians live in USA. To call the Red Indians respectfully, we have to call them Native Americans. South Spain captured most of the South America and some of the North America. Which is why today Mexico and most of the South American countries' main language is Spanish. And in some states of USA, Spanish is also spoken, but it's not the main language. In the 60s and 70s, Britain captured many lands of North America. The Native Americans' population decreased a lot because Europeans brought many diseases in America. Remember that Britain was never able to capture the entire part of which is known today as USA. So Britain has gave me the work of mining resources to give him. So let me mine and give him. There are so many good resources here in North America. Now we will become rich. Let me mine all of this and give to Britain. Now let's give it all to Britain. North America is so cool and rich. Hey listen everyone. Britain will rule North America forever. No, I will never let that happen. Who is this idiot now? Hey idiot, what are you doing here? Shut the duck up, or you won't find your balls fine <laughs> next morning. You will also see your girlfriend became pregnant. What is your problem? I want independence. Who told this kid the meaning of independence at first? It's time for you to leave North America. Now you have only two options. First one is surrender and leave North America peacefully, so I will be independent. And second option is do a war with me. I will take independence myself with war. Let me suggest you a third option too. 
What is it? Do nothing. Let things go how it's going. Why is there so much noise? I want independence. No, you don't want. Huh? Don't say stupid things like this. Then get ready for war. I am always ready for war. On 4th July 1776, the United States declared independence. Okay, fine. I am ready to give you independence. Now end your American Revolution. You have to sign on a treaty. From now you are independent. The American Revolution War for Independence finally ended in 3rd September 1783. Now I am a no independent country. It's time for all the state to join me. I am not feeling comfortable. I need more state. Now finally I can call myself a country. Keep in mind that the states didn't automatically join USA. USA had to purchase lots of states from France. Anyways now we will see how did USA got Alaska. I am in a poor condition. I don't have much money in my country so I can't feed my citizens properly. So I need some money now. I thought I should sell some of my lands. I will get money but I will lose lands too. So I have to think twice before making a decision. I am even ready to sell my balls. What? But I don't know if I should sell my lands. 15 minutes later. All right. I have made the decision. I will sell Alaska. Alaska used to be Russia's land at that time. But whom should I sell it to? USA definitely have enough money. So let's sell it to him. Hey USA, I want to sell some of my land. Which land? That one. Wait, you want to sell Alaska, but for how much? I need some money urgently, so just give the amount which you would like. I am offering $7.2 million. Wow! Yes, yes, I definitely accept it. Now you can take Alaska. So as you guys can see, USA's most of the lands are actually purchased with money. However, some states were taken by USA with conflicts, like Texas and Hawaii. USA have a very long history, but for this video, we are going to see some important parts to keep it short, simple, and easy. For example, because of USA and Soviet Union, the world literally almost ended. If USA didn't have took a calm decision, then today you and me won't be alive. I have made a whole separate video for this. Watch this video after this video ends to find out one of the most dangerous human history. Link will be given in description too. Anyways, now let's see USA's role on World War II. Haha, <laughs> now I have made my right. It is time to rule the world. Looks interesting. Huh? Are you singing? Let's brew up together. Huh? Go from here before I kick your cake. Okay. Vendor in the start. Never mind. I will attack Soviet Union now. This is your biggest mistake. 
No, you can't do anything. I will win. Let's see. Whom were you calling? Your death. What the hell? The Japanese Empire attacked in my Pearl Harbor. How dare him? Enough is enough. I must take a strong action so that other countries won't do the same mistake. C4 has been successfully activated. Bomb detonation countdown successfully started. What a beautiful day. Wait, is there two sun? So guys, now it's time to give shoutouts. Those who have membership of the channel or a super thanks, they will get special shoutout. So let's start with special shoutout first. First special shoutout to Oliver P. Shorts. Second special shoutout to Windows Surface Official. Third special shoutout to India of All Mapping 172. Fourth special shoutout to Norway Country Ball Anime vs. Fan. Now let's give shout out normally. First shout out to Akil Gaming Official 2. Second shout out to US8NG. Third shout out to Noto MZ. So guys, that's it for today. Like and subscribe now, otherwise Mexico will invade your toilet so you can never poop again. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Never slow in this journey, our spirits grow with anime versus leading the way.